hit that like and subscribe button. This is a gang report with your boy Tony from the Hit Show. We have a recent news update on the mass incarceration rate that El Salvador's president has put into full effect. Right now is not the time to get arrested. Right now is not the time to get deported. I'm talking to the ones that are from 18th Street, the ones that are from MS, the ones that are from El Salvador. With recent reports indicating that there has been over 50,000 documented gang members that have been detained for simply being connected or associated with the gang. Different gangs such as MS-13, Mara Salvatrucha, Barrio 18, 18th Street have been terrorizing the streets for decades. The president of El Salvador has stated and has announced and declared war on these gangs. Apparently in late March, there was a document over 70 homicides and the government is stating that Mara Salvatrucha was responsible for most of it, which triggered the president to declare a state of emergency and brought out his superpowers. People are going as far as trying to cover up their tattoos. People are going as far as attempting to burn them off in order to avoid captivity. Authorities have been going from house to house to get to get these gang members. Some gang members have attempted to hide out in rural forest areas, but law enforcement have raised over a hundred encampments in the middle of the woods, in the middle of nowhere, to get these individuals. It seems there is nowhere to hide. The president has literally promised to eradicate these gangs. They're already in the works of a massive prison being built right now that allegedly is supposed to detain over 40,000 inmates. Gang members that have already been convicted inside of prison, gang leaders are being sentenced to an additional 45 years in prison. Gang members that fall underneath them are being sentenced to an additional 20 to 30 years. El Salvador is not paying. Now, initially, all these arrests were supposed to be done over a 30-day period. However, at the end of each month, they keep getting 30-day extensions, which has been done several times over these past few months. The gang roundup is still in full effect. They are still hunting down these gang members, and they will not stop. So, wow. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. They are suited and booted, showing up to people's houses, three truckloads deep, and literally wiping out neighborhoods. This is scary. You know, this is crazy. 50,000 gang members. People are burning off their tattoos to avoid captivity. They're trying to cover them up. Some are going as far as putting on makeup. So for those of you out there, man, trust me, right now is not a time to catch a DUI case over some dumb shit, man. And end up, and end up having ICE pick you up, man. End up in a Salvador. Trust me. You don't know what you're going to get yourself into, man. Right now, it's not the time to be bullshit, man. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's just a recent news update. What's going on in El Salvador? 50,000 gang members have been detained. A new prison is being built as we currently speak. And, uh, man, hopefully hopefully it doesn't pop off, man. Because, you know, unfortunately in these third world countries, man, you know, these, these, these prison riots, man, they're brutal, man. There's always uh, casualties of, of ranging up to 40, 50, 60, 70 people, man, being killed. During these riots, man, these California riots ain't nothing compared to these ones. And it's sad, man. It's very unfortunate, man. Very unfortunate. Please hit that like and subscribe, man. This is the Criminal Insider with your boy Tony.